You know, calling me names is not going to change my opinion as to what I saw when I was there. It's hard to have a lot of credibility if you don't play good defense. It's hard to say, let's get stops when people are looking at you saying, please stay in front of somebody. And my point was that he's a hell of a basketball player. He really is. I mean, and to James' credit, I will say this. He organizes guys in the summer. He does a lot of stuff. He does a lot of those things. What I was talking more about leadership is, Isaiah, now you and I talked yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah. It's, a ha it's a tie game at half, okay? And you're, it's a playoff game, or it's a, you're playing a, another team that's tough and rumble, and they're going to get after you. And all of a sudden, with four minutes to go in the third, you're down nine. They're getting every loose ball. They're getting every rebound. They're doing this stuff. It's not about skill at that point. It's about will. It's like, I got to impose my will on you. So what... <clears throat> You know, James at that point gets a little bit, he, he, that's not his personality. Chris Paul, internal, will get in your face, go nose to nose with you, say, hey, let's go. And I think that's what you need. Uh, Draymond Green does a great job. Whenever you need a spark, he's out there going John with yeah. somebody. And I say, yeah. you know how it is. Yeah. It's kind of the era we came from. And that's what yeah. I'm saying. James is a hell of a basketball player. Chris Paul will have that leadership at those times where he gets a little bit introverted, a little bit quiet, and he actually, you saw the game in the Spurs. I yeah. mean, he get to the point where he's just, he's just passive. And Chris Paul yeah. is not like that. Chris Paul's that, like we were kind of more, if things go bad, let's go get